Welcome to the Project Achilles. Today we are discussing tactics and self-defense and we are focusing on a real-life case from Brazil where a man used his firearm in self-defense against an armed attacker. So let's break down the scenario and take a closer look to what happened. So you can see the attacker entering the shop with his helmet still on and he's going straight to the person on his right like he planned it. And he's reaching for his gun, but at the same time another clerk quickly reacts, shoots him and takes him down. So what are the lessons learned from this case? First key lesson is the situational awareness of the clerk. It's impeccable. You can see that as soon as the attacker is entering the shop, he sees that the attacker is wearing an helmet and that he's reaching for his jacket to something he doesn't know. But the clerk identifies that as a threat and he's keeping an eye contact all along the sequence. He's adjusting his position, he's getting ready to engage, and he's showing a high level of awareness and readiness. The second lesson would be about the attacker's mistake. You can see that he's making two critical errors. He's failing to position himself strategically because as soon as he's getting inside the shop, he's moving directly to the clerk on his right and he's completely neglecting whatever is happening on his left side and he's perfectly blind. He can't see that one of the clerk is getting ready to shoot at him. The second critical error is like, it seems that his gun is not in battery, it's not chamber, and he has to reach for the slide likely to rock it and chamber around and this crucial delay cost him his advantage and allows the clerk who is drawing his gun to shoot at him to actually take advantage and take him down the third lesson would be about the clerk's reaction and you can see that this is perfect he's a textbook example of the uda loop observe orient decide act he's calmly assessing the situation since the beginning of the sequence he's positioning himself orienting his body and he's reaching for his gun at the moment, the attacker is breaking eye contact. And then as soon as he sees that the attacker's gun is not in battery, he's firing, like he's seizing the opportunity and he sees that. It's very good. Like observe, orient, decide, act. If you look carefully, you can see the sequencing of what's happening and it's almost instinctive. And you can see that this guy is highly trained and has a very good awareness and is highly skilled. I'm really impressed by the clerk's reaction and how he's staying calm and methodical all along the time. He is disengaging manually the safety of his gun because it seems like he has this type of gun where you have to disengage manually the safety before to be able to fire, to put it in battery. And you can see that he's executing like a perfect tactical response. He's handling his gun perfectly. He knows exactly what he's doing. These are trained moves. And he's very fast to put the gun in battery, compress, and eliminate the threat. However, I think that for self-defense purposes, it's better to have a gun where you don't have to disengage the safety manually because it's going to improve your response time, especially if your life is at risk. Disengaging manually the safety can be the second that's going to cost you the life, especially if you have to shoot in a quick reaction time and you won't have the time to disengage that safety. It's like being in condition two versus being in condition zero and have to load and rack your gun before you fire. It's better if you have something already in battery and ready to fire, maybe just like pressure on the trigger could be like a good mechanism. That being said, I think that shooting from a seated position with his back against the chair for stability is a smart move from the clerk because it's minimizing extra movements and it's giving him the advantage of speed and being unpredictable. The fourth lesson would be about the importance of the team backup when possible. Teamwork can be a lifesaver in such situations. And if you look carefully, then you'll see the woman next to the clerk she is also reaching for a concealed firearm. If the clerk had missed, she was prepared to neutralize the threat. And this is showing the importance of having someone backing you up when possible. The last lesson would be about training and emotional control. You can see that the clerk is trained and it's obvious. He's following principles of assessing the situation, controlling his emotions and executing a tactical response under pressure. His calm demeanor allowed him to take control and neutralize the threat efficiently and only training can make that. Follow Project Achilles for more self-defense content and tactics.